Hello everyone, welcome back to Neha Lectures. This is your Neha coming up with another video which is a very main which contains a very main topic which is called distance. This is a subtopic of kinematics, but don't think this is the only subtopic of kinematics. But there are more and more subtopics we need to learn. What's late? Let's go. So today's agenda one distance and the second one is finding the distance along a circular path you may see this sentence confusing but when you go through this you feel it so easy so let us go to distance the length of the path covered by an object is called distance it's si in meters and cgs unit is centimeters that means if there are two points A and B and you are moving from point A to B then the length you have covered is called distance. Now you may say that I am saying length equals to distance. That is absolutely right. Length is equals to distance. Now there is a small problem which I want you all to solve which is Sam about to go to Tom's house and he will take the longer way now. So, let us calculate the distance from Sam's house to Tom's house. First, Sam started at his house and then he went to the bakery. From Sam's house to bakery, it's 2 kilometers. And from bakery to the shop, it's 1 kilometer. So, total, he has covered 2 plus 1 equals to 3 kilometers. And from shop to Tom's house, he has traveled 3 kilometers that means 3 plus 3 that equals to 6 so Tom has Sam has traveled 6 kilometers in total to go to Tom's house now let us go to our next topic which is finding out distance for a circular path so for finding out distance for us along a circular path we use four options so let us go to the first option. Okay, first option is calculating the distance for the entire circle. That means if we have started from point A and reached point O, point C, point B and again point A, that means you have traveled the whole or the entire circle. And to find the distance or how much distance you have traveled, we use a formula which is 2 pi r this for this is for the circumference of a circle so this pi this is a variable it is called pi and it have a specific value which is 22 by 7 or 3.14 and r stands for radius i hope you understood this option one then let's go to option two Option 2 is to calculate the half circle. That means let us go to the before image. So if you have traveled the half circle, that means from point A, O, R, B and again to A. This half circle is also known as a semicircle. So there is a formula even for this. So what's the formula? 2 pi r into half that equals pi r because the 2 in here and the 2 in here will be cancelled and which one which is left is pi r so for calculating the distance of a semicircle we use pi r and for option 3 option 3 is to calculate 1 by 4th of a circle and we, uh, we use a formula for that which is 2 pi r by 4 which equals to pi r by 2. Now if you have understood option 4 let's go to option option 4. Option 4 is to calculate 3 by 4th of a circle. So the formula we use for this is 2 pi r into 3 by 4 that equals to 3 pi r by 2. I hope you understood all the options 
clearly and perfectly. But if you still have some doubts, then you can comment down below in the comment section or you can just mail me at nehalectures at the rate gmail.com. So let us summarize what we have learned. We have learned about how to find distance along a circular path, which is option one, option two, option three, and option four. And how to find distance along a straight line or a, along a straight line. Now, thanks a lot for watching with this video. If you think this video is very helpful for you or your friends, then please share it to them. And don't forget to like this video. And if you seem that see that these kinematic series are interesting then you don't forget to subscribe this channel neha lectures thank you